Collegiate record holder, national title, breaking Ashton Eaton's record oh of all gosh. records. How does it feel? Man, I described this meet as, as a full circle meet. The last time I was here in 2020, the whole world got shut down. And now I'm back here. I was in the best shape of my life then. I'm in even better shape of my life now. And to break a collegiate record in this stadium and to take down Ashton Eaton's number, man, I have the utmost respect for that guy. Me and him are still in contact to this day. But to take that number down and to be six points off the world record, it's unfathomable. I don't even know what to really say about it right now. Was this type of performance on your mind going into the meet? It definitely was. There's always, you know, the possibility of what ifs coming into big meets like this and knowing what your potential is and trusting coaches' training over the past couple of months. But, you know, I just tried to focus on execution. You know, yesterday I had a great event up until high jump and, and you know, that wasn't the, the mark that I wanted. But I knew I had to come back out here on day two and put together a crazy three events and execute the way I wanted to when I knew something big was coming. And to see that number pop up on the board, man, it's absolutely incredible. For the most part, your first six events were doing great. You were PRing in a few of them. Yeah. But you knew that the 1K, your hardest event, and it's at altitude. What was going through your mind knowing you are going to have to attack a 1K man, at 6,000 feet? I just treated it like it was any other day at practice. You know, I've trained for this. I've trained for moments like, like this moment. And to have my training partner out there, Johannes, after suffering a slight hamstring injury, for him to come out there and pace me at that pace, man, I, <laughs> I attribute that 1K to him, if I'm being completely honest. He, t he can take some part in this, in this credit that I have over these two days just because of the, the heart and the grit that he showed and to be able to go out there for me and, and help me lay it all out on the line, man. I, I give all my thanks to him. He pulled off to the side with one lap to go. Did he yeah. say anything to you? No, nah, he just said, come on, man, you gotta do it. You gotta, you gotta be an animal. And, and hearing that from, from my own teammate, one guy that I've been fighting with since I got to college in 2018, you know, to have him look at me in that way and, and to, to push me to something great, it's absolutely incredible. How much of a factor was considering what Aiden was gonna be doing up front because he also broke the old collegiate record yeah. as well. Was that on your mind of like thinking about where he was in relation to you? Because you could have broken it and he could have just broken it even more. I mean, in the end of the day, I just really had to stay true to what I was doing. You know, I knew that what I was capable of and I knew he was going to go out and run really hard. But when I saw him get out, when I saw him run really hard, I just had to stay true to my race. I couldn't try to chase him. I knew that I had to stay within 18 or so seconds of, of him. And, you know, just being able to see him in my rear view and my peripheral the whole race, you know, I knew I knew I had it in the bag when that last lap came. Kyle, how much is that event specifically, you know, obviously you handled it with such class, you know, and, uh, and, and you know, in such maturity last year. Yeah. But how much has the, the 1,000 just been a point of personal pride for you? It definitely, it's definitely been the biggest point of personal pride, I probably have to say, you know. I haven't had a PR in this event in, in about three years, three and a half years or so, and to come out here and, and to put out a PR on the biggest stage in the country in, in, in a meet like this, you know, it's nothing like it, man. I, I'm absolutely elated. You guys at your age, right, yeah. uh, are now ahead of Warner, ahead of Meyer, you know, ahead of all, like the, the only person that's in, in front of either of you guys is, is Ashton, and yeah. obviously he's the, he's the GOAT. Like, I, I know it's all still sinking in, but like, I mean, it's not just being the best collegiately, like, I mean, to be better than all of those guys that have won global medals, how incredible is that? Oh my gosh, man, just to be in this conversation with them, you know, about six, seven years ago, I was just starting up on the heptathlon, decathlon and all that, you know, and now, um, to be out here and, and to surpass these guys and be so close to where Ashton was at his absolute prime. And, you know, for me and Aiden to be two and three of three guys to score over 6,500 points, you know, it's, it's absolutely a blessing. You said you still stay in touch with Ashton Aiden. What do you think your next conversation with him might look like after this? I have no idea, man. I know he's absolutely excited and, and you know, excited for me, but... You know, there'll be, there'll be good competition, good, good conversation. I know even though he's not competing, it'll still be fun to, you know, jaw at it with him. Mm -hmm.